Good morning, hi, how are you? Welcome to Brighton, well welcome to my bed in Brighton. I'm here on a press trip with Jeep for a launch of a new car, the Jeep Compass. Uh, well, essentially, more than a car, as you're gonna see. But I thought, let's take the opportunity. You guys know I love to do a get ready with me, I like to take you around when I can. Um, so I thought, I'm so tired, just stick with me. First things first, I actually can't see a thing. The contact lenses are going in. If I'm ever staying like one night in a hotel, I tend not to wash and shampoo my hair. Really out of laziness and I don't want to have to take all my stuff with me. Also same with shaving. I shaved yesterday so this is not the cleanest that it could be. But to kind of like save myself some time and also taking everything. Guys, I pack in a hurry. Like if I can keep it as simple as possible, then I'm happy. Whatever you do guys, moisturizer is key. This one, same one I always use, Lab Series Max LS. Maxillance, I like it for oily skin. You know, it just takes off that excess shine, but it also hydrates. Deodorant, always a go-to. Mitchum, 40 hour, eight hour protection. I am a sweaty beast. Pants and socks is definitely something you don't really need to see. So I'm gonna put these on in some privacy, then we'll get ready properly. I am going to go for like layering today because Brighton is really very windy. A roll neck, this sort of funnel neck, this is from weekday stores. World's smallest pants, great. <laughs> Not that sort of YouTube channel. Jeans, classic black skinnies, cheap Monday. And I've actually never worn this, so I don't even know if it goes with this look, but I thought, if I layer two greys, it might look quite good, and if it's cold or if it's warmer, I can take this off. Do we like? Yeah, I think we can make this work. Right, <laughs> skin and hair. I feel like you guys will be like properly into my routine at the moment. I will do a sort of winter routine and show you everything. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of powder on just because I'm doing a lot of filming today, and I don't want to look greasy, I don't want to look shiny. Um, this is a primer by Daniel Sandler, spoken about it before. Just prep the skin for anything you're going to put on. Okay, next, I'm going to pop a touch of powder again, exactly the same one I've been using. Uh, Menergy, high definition, anti-shine powder. If you've got an oily complexion, if you've got little spots that you're not uncomfortable with, don't be shy of a powder, seriously. No one, if you do it right, is going to see it. It's just gonna conceal and also help you sort of, I think, feel a bit better about yourself. Just onto the T-zone. Just, you know, not going too much. Taking this roll neck down slightly just so we can get onto this. Because this is so outdoors today, I don't want to rock up looking like a drag queen. I think that could be a step too far for me. Okay, right, next is gonna be moustache. This one's TG's bedhead for men, more writer. I'm, I'm actually doing some work with them at the moment and I'm gonna be doing a sort of video looking at sort of facial hair and also some of their hairstyling products which you're gonna see. Um, but, as always guys, with these moustache waxes, I've just softened it up. And I'm gonna take just a sort of top layer, get it through the lines. I really need to blow my nose, apologies. Oh God. Sorry guys. Back to the moustache. Just really working it through. You can see I'm just literally warming up as we do a hair product taking it off the surface, and I'm just patting it through, right through the ends, root to tip. Essentially, guys, it's the same sort of hair um, styling techniques that we'd be doing. We just want to ensure that that whole moustache is coated. I'm also glad that a lot of you seem to have changed your mind about this moustache. Grabbing a comb, you can just use a sort of hair comb. You can absolutely do that. This moustache comb is just really just for ease. This product does distribute really easily, which I like, so you're not getting those clumps and bumps like you quite often get with moustaches, but it is allowing some hold. Right, a bit of product on the end of the fingers, and I'm just 
twisting. So picking up from the center of the mustache and allowing that hair to come through. This side plays hardball. You can see it sometimes just does this. This side though, gorgeous. There we go, I'm happy. Right, we're gonna move on to the hair. Like it guys? This kinda goes with this look. I'm thinking for my hair today that I kind of want it a bit messy. I mean, I'm, I'm literally having it messy today because it's gonna be blowing a gale and I just don't want it to go everywhere. Um, so, I'm gonna start by using Nioxin Diet Boost. Um, this I have just found less of a pre-style, a bit more of a plumper. I'm gonna be showing you this in the next coming weeks. More sort of Nioxin stuff just because some of the stuff is really, really, really good. Um, so this product just through root to tip. I don't think it's gonna stretch. Okay, ooh, hello, big hair. Oh my god, it's massive. Okay, next, I wanna use some clay. I'm gonna use the clay that I used in my overhyped video last Thursday. I like the way that it's giving quite a loose and messy hold. Um, I say that, it's a good hold but it's then malleable to get kind of back into position. I'm gonna warm that up. Brushing at the surface, like so. Okay, I really like that. I really like that, I'm happy. Good! Oh, my new boots. I'm gonna show you my new boots too. Um, oh. Hang on, forgot something. Okay, fragrance to take. I am using, um, oh you're too low, let's come here. Joe Malone, English Oak and Hazelnut, an absolute favorite. Um, I just like it really very fresh. I kind of go for these more oody fragrances at the moment, but this one has got this sort of nutty, as we think with hazelnut. I just really like it, there you go. Check this one out. Um, I have this in a favorites. Can you see that? I have this in a favorites recently. Yeah, it's a goodie. Okay, right, I can actually show you the boots now. New Calvin Klein Hiker Boots. Thoughts, feelings, I know so many people will hate them, but I feel like quite a lot of people will like them. Okay, get these on. And this is my full look. There you go. I'm happy, right, I am gonna be late for breakfast, as always. Um, breakfast, I don't think it's gonna be exciting. Then we'll take you out and we'll try out this car. I feel like I'm definitely dressed for it now. Here we go. This is what we're going to be getting into. I mean, they're letting me loose on this. Emma, come in and say hi. Hello, <laughs> hi. No, so why don't you even make this work? Okay. Yeah. Okay, mirrors are good. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I've literally got my foot on. That woman's like, please, just move. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Is it on? I don't think you've got the engine fully on. It's just the ignition. Go and turn it again, thank you. <laughs> didn't even have the car on. Okay. <laughs> ah! Right, she's like, thank God they have gone. Right, you are also navigating. No, it was plastered. After 300 oh. feet, enter the roundabout, <laughs> take the second exit onto Marina Way. It is beautiful in right here. Enter the roundabout, take the second exit onto Farmer Hill. And I also like that the sat-nav is on there. Out oh, and there. Is it always oh, yeah. there? Yeah. I think that's quite good. God, Robin, come on. We've yeah, got a main road! <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Right after half a mile. But it's really accelerating. Oh! I'm beeping. I'm beeping. No, so where? After 700 feet, keep right, then keep right. go over the roundabout. Go over the roundabout, oh. enter the roundabout. Welcome to Robin's Tours of Brighton. Take the second oh. exit. Yeah! Oh, hello. I think it must just sense that something's coming up behind. Yeah. If I'm indicating it's like, don't oh, move. Yeah. We got here in one piece. <laughs> Do it like a bit of, I think, off-roading, which we didn't actually plan to do. So the car is a little bit dirty. Sorry, G. I feel like that's what they're made for. We've got a tree house. This is where we're having lunch. It's pretty cool. <laughs> for 
foraging for food, but I've not done anything. Also, I'm pretty sure I've just put a weed into the basket that we're gonna eat. It'll be fine. Really giving the carbon climb boots a, a go. Oops. They're meant to be worn though, aren't they? Sure. For someone that uh, grew up in the countryside, I'm very much at the moment, London does country. I feel a bit ridiculous in like San Ron sunglasses and Calvin Klein hiking boots, but fuck it. I'm enjoying it. I'm just going for it. We're going to be driving back very, very soon. Um, get back into London. What's this one we've got now? Automatic diesel big. Is that what you described it as? Excuse me, I just get the heated steering wheel. Uh, okay, so in the controls here. Yeah. Those controls. Do you want a heated seat? Yeah. Heat that seat. We have definitely upgraded for the journey back. <laughs> We're now on an automatic with sort of, what would you call these colour of seats? Um, Arctic Fox. Duck egg blue. <laughs> duck egg blue. Do you think they're blue? A little bit they're blue. They're like a bit grey white. Um, how's this to drive? It's lovely. The heated, heated steering wheel is literally the dream. Okay, I'm excited to get a go of this after. hotel um, survived the drive very enjoyable I think I actually preferred the second one um, the automatic obviously just makes me feel a bit like a go-kart um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link absolutely everything from the video so all the stuff about Jeep also all the products that I've been using um, and all the clothing in the description below and um, if you're new to the channel you've not yet press subscribe press subscribe up there also more video suggestions out of breath down there and I'll link to my blog there so I'm going to see you in the next new one, um, which will be soon. Bye-bye.